Okay, um, good evening everyone. So, um, so today I'm going to be talking about a very important aspect of law, um, which is very uh, concerning and of course, like I said before, important to everyone because it has to do with who is entitled to the property of a dead person under Nigerian law. Now, this is an area of law that is highly jurisdictional. In other words, what applies in other countries may not necessarily apply here. You see, the general perception is that once your name is written somewhere as next of kin, when a man dies, you automatically become the owner of whatever he has. So people struggle to have their names written as next of kin in banks, in, in offices, everywhere. But it's really not like that. It doesn't really work like that. But of course, these people think this way because they really don't know the position of the law. Uh, with regards to administration of estates of the estate of um, of a deceased person now when a man dies and he has lots of property some people even have properties outside nigeria some people have shares some people have savings and some of these savings are not even known to anybody even their wife don't even know they have savings sometimes <laughs> some people have shares in some blue chip companies so that's why you see unclaimed dividends everywhere. People die without family members knowing what they own or what they have. Now, in this um, lecture, I want to let you all know what you must do to be able to access the properties of a dead person and who is entitled to so access, who is entitled to the property of a dead person under Nigerian law. When a man dies, he either dies tested or intestate. Of course, you may be confused, so I will explain. To die tested means the person made a will, a valid will before his death. The operating word there is valid, a valid will. So that's why in the previous um, lecture, I told you that you must not try to do or draft things like wills yourself because you may end up preparing what we call a worthless piece of paper in the name of a will. And when it is um, contested or proven, it will be thrown into the judicial trash can. So if a man dies with a will, the will sets out who is entitled to what. And it also sets out who the executor of the will or the testator of the will will be. Okay? Uh, sorry, the, the executor of a will. It sets out who it who the, the executor will be will be. That, that means the person that will manage the estate, the person that will assist in dividing those items he has shared in the will so when a man dies the first thing to do is to look at the will a valid will so the valid will tells you who is entitled to the property of the dead man the property of the dead woman typically the dead man will say my car um, with registration number blah 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 my house here my my iphone should go to my daughter should go to this should go to that so it's clearly spelled out in such a way that um it, it leaves no room for argument. Of course, there may be family members who want to contest the will, who wants to say, um, oh, no, 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 this is not the the intention of our late father, late mother. He couldn't have written this. So they will take it to court and what we call proving the will. So they will take it to court and challenge um, the, the will. The court, of course, will decide the matter one way or the other. But generally, when a man dies, test it. It means he made a will. And that will set out who is entitled to what. Now, the next one is when a man dies intestate. It means he died without making a will. So that means he did not share his property and he did not organize his estates before he died. Of course, I'm talking to you as people who really don't know the law. So estate here does not mean estate in the Bejuleki or some of those estates in um, on the island or the mainland of Lagos. Estate means property. So the person's estate means the person's property, all the things he owned while he was alive. So when a man dies intestate, he does not set out who is entitled to what. So family members can proceed to the high court. There's what we call the probate registry. The probate registry is the part of the high court that deals with issues of administration of estates. So they'll go there and get what we call the letter of administration. And of course, to get this, it is very important you engage a lawyer who is very um, knowledgeable in this area to help you through um, the process. So when you get the letter of administration, the administrator 
will then be the person that will manage the estate on behalf of, and this is very important, on behalf of the beneficiaries. So typically what happens is the administrator may be two persons, two persons related to the deceased, to the dead person. And then they will now be the one permitted, the ones permitted by the court, by the law, by the government to look after, right, the property of the dead person. But where someone dies and nobody is available anywhere, then the property of the person is devolves to the administrator general of the state who holds it in trust for whatever beneficiary that comes upon. If there's none, it goes to um, the government. So the administrator general ordinarily will hold it um, in trust. So now, um, generally, like I said at the beginning, you have people who die making a will. The will sets out who gets what. You have those who die without making a will. Then you have to, for in, in that case, you have to, as a family member, maybe one or two, maybe two persons will come up and go to the probate registry of the high court in the different states and get what we call the letter of administration. That letter of administration enables you to deal with the property of the dead person. And if you don't have any of these, you don't have the rights to deal with the property of the dead person. Because if you so do, somebody may come and challenge you uh, in the future. All right. I believe this video has been helpful, helpful to you. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel, share the video and drop your comments. Thank you.